This video is about creating a base rover GPS solution that works with the Apple survey wizards. In many countries there is no network correction that covers the complete nation. So that means you can use a rover based solution. And how you do that is how we will explain in this video. In the Netherlands we have a correction network that covers the whole country. So here we can always use NTRIP correction data. That means we don't have much experience with building a rover based solution. But we will try for you. To make this GPS a rover based solution we will use two Amulet Reach RS2 receivers. And of course we will use the Apple Survey Wizards, the easiest land survey app in the field. So first we have to configure the base. Let's see how we do that. To configure the base we have to turn on the Amulet Reach RS2 that we want to use as the base. So we push this button till this light burns. And now it will turn on and we have to wait a little bit. So now the Amulet Reach RS2 is on, so we can uh, move forward with the Ablos Config Wizard. This is the start screen of the Ablos Config Wizard and we can just click OK. You can uh, configure lots of different GNS receivers with it. And this time we will configure the Reach base. We already renamed it, but uh, I will explain you how to do this. So we go to Amulet and we click reach rs2 and then we click ok then we have to fill in the password uh, the password is hinted it's mlit reach and then we click ok and then we get in the web interface of the mlit reach rs2 there we have to do uh, several things. The first is to uh, rename the reach. So we go to settings and then we go to general settings, reach and hotspot name. We click edit and here you can change the name. But we already did this so we don't have to. So we just click save. And then it's saved. Then we have to go to the RTK settings. Here we have to select all the satellites that the Amulet Reach RS2 is using. Uh, we select them all. Uh, they're already selected. Uh, we click the update rates, rate of 1 Hz. Um, so that's good. Uh, when you change, then you have to click apply. But After that we go to base mode, we make sure that the corrections output is on, we have to select low RA and then we have to select the frequency and we make sure that the output power is 20 dBm and the air rate data is 9.11 kilobytes per second. Then we select the RTCM messages, we turn all of them on and click apply. And now we are done with the base. So we click OK and we click OK and then the configuration of the Amulet Reach RS2 base is done. So I guess we could configure the Amulet Reach RS2 as a base. We need to configure the second Amulet Reach RS2 as a rover to see if we did well. So now we have to configure the Amulet Reach RS2 uh, rover. And first of all, we have to turn it on again. So we push that button and we wait. So when the uh, rover is on, we can Continue with the Ablos Config Wizard and click OK and wait till it gains all the Wi-Fi networks. And here there is the Reach Rover. We already renamed it, so we click on it and then we click on Emlet and we select the Reach RS2. And then we can click OK. Again, we have to fill in the passwords, which is Emlet Reach. And then we click OK.
and now we are going to the web interface of the Emulate Reach RS2 and here we go to the settings again and here you can change the name it's done by pushing edit and you write whatever name you want as long as you know it's the rover and then you click save the reason name was changed then we go to RTK settings we make sure that all the satellites that are used in the Amlet Reach RS2 base are also selected in the Amlet Reach RS2 rover that's already done here and we have an update rate of 5 Hz if you change it of course you have to click on apply then we go to the correction input and we make sure that there is the base correction we select LoRa then you have to make sure that the frequency is the same as in the base in this case it's already the same the output power has to be 20 dBm the air data rate has to be 9.11 if you change this then you have to click apply then for one of the last steps is the position output you have to make sure that output 1 is on, on Bluetooth, and that you have NMEA selected. And then you go to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth has to be on. The pin code has to be something that you remember. And you have to make sure that it's always discoverable. And when you have done that, you can just click OK, and we have configured the rover. We configured uh, now the Amlet Reach RS2 as a rover. So let's see if it works together with the Land Survey app, the AppLoss Survey Wizard. So now I will set up the base, the rod. and turn on here the Amlet Ridge RS2 the rover part is on so now we can make a connection so in Amgos Survey Wizard we go to connect and um, Amgos Survey Wizard doesn't recognize yet the Amlet uh, Ridge RS2 so we will um, edit And it found uh, different Bluetooth devices, so we go to the Reach Rover, that's how we named it. It says pairing. And it says pairing succeeded. So now we can add the Reach Rover, and um, the entrip is coming out of the antenna. And then we can connect. And it says the connection is made with a Bluetooth device. And it already says float RTK 21. So now we're under the trees and we will go in the field to see if we can get an RTK. So we set up the uh, rover. There's the RS uh, reach of uh, the reach RS2 with the antenna. We already made a connection with the AppLoss survey wizard to the reach RS2. And as I can see, we have an RTK of 21 satellites, 22. Even if we didn't have much experience building a rover based solution, it was kind of easy with Ablus Survey Wizard, Ablus Config Wizard, and Amulet Reads RS2. Of course, you can also make a rover based solution with other GNS receivers. For example, there is the Amulet Reach RS. Plus. If you want to see how the Amulet Reads RS Plus compares with Amulet Reads RS2, then check out the video next to us. You can also find the link in of that video in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe by pushing the button below.